The ocean is a mysterious place for many reasons. From unexplored depths to the strange creatures that live there, a lot of what goes on beneath the waves, like animal behavior, remains shrouded in mystery. Sleep, for example, is something that all living things take part in, at least in some form. Fish do it too, but they can actually breathe underwater. Marine mammals like whales and dolphins, they need sleep too, right? They need air just like you and I. So how do marine mammals like whales and dolphins sleep in the ocean? Let's find out. Whales and dolphins are some of the most iconic creatures of the open oceans. But as I mentioned before, they are mammals, just like you and I. Just like lions, tigers, and bears, oh my! They have lungs that intake oxygen from the air around us. Our lungs are filled with tiny little veins called capillaries, and they diffuse or mix oxygen into our bloodstream. Fish use a similar system with their gills. By pulling water through their gills, they can effectively separate the O from the H2O. Whales used to be land mammals, so they use massive lungs that specialize in intaking huge amounts of oxygen, and over millions of years have developed a unique set of tools that make this whole process a lot more efficient. For most mammals, breathing is a reflex controlled by the brain. However, a whale or dolphin is in control of each and every breath they take. The average whale can go about one hour underwater before they need to surface for air again. Humpback whales last an amazing 90 minutes. Meanwhile, dolphins average out at 10 to 15. So if they can't hold their breath for eight hours, how do whales and other marine mammals sleep on the high seas? Well, as it turns out, cetaceans like whales and dolphins have multiple strategies when it comes to sleeping. You might think it's as simple as floating to the surface for a quick nap, like sea otters for instance. They just relax using their dense fur to keep them afloat while they sleep, sometimes even holding on to one another so they don't drift apart. Seals just find a nice beach or rock, they climb up and they take a nap. Whales don't have this ability, and therefore have had to come up with some pretty ingenious tactics. Dolphins have the amazing ability to shut off half of their brains, literally sleeping with one eye open. By resting one hemisphere or half of the brain, they're able to stay mobile, traveling distances and even coming up to breathe when they need to get some air. They also use the physics of the open water to their advantage by coasting side by side or following behind other members of their pods or family units. This creates a personal slipstream similar to what you might have seen in Finding Nemo with those radical sea turtles. In fact, baby dolphins and whales rely on this current to stay afloat and keep up with their mothers. It's almost like holding a sleepwalker's hands as you lead them through the world. Dolphins and whales will slow their swimming speed to conserve oxygen in their bodies making their already well-adapted bodies better at processing the air they need to live. Large-bodied whales will often take a more relaxed approach to sleeping, and that looks both beautiful and haunting at the same time. They're able to use the same strategies of dolphins, but the amount of energy their swimming muscles need to move them through the oceans is a lot more than dolphins. Besides, who always wants to be on the go? Sometimes you just gotta relax, and that's exactly what large cetaceans like sperm whales and humpback whales do. These massive whales will float vertically a few meters under the water's surface, suspended in an area where their body fat prevents them from sinking any lower. This behavior was up until recently thought to be an oddity, but more and more biologists are finding examples of it. It's thought that by floating still, these massive creatures are able to prioritize oxygen flow in their bodies, focusing in on two main areas, the heart and the brain. By shutting down high energy processes like digestion, a whale is able to hold its breath for significantly longer, allowing for deeper periods of rest and relaxation. Dolphins who are out on their own and aren't relying on the previously mentioned currents to keep moving will employ a similar tactic called logging, where they lay sleeping at the surface without moving, looking like, well, a log, which is where the name came from. The ocean for me has always been a terrifying place, and I could not imagine sleeping out there being so vulnerable. I did, however, learn some pretty interesting facts about the way whales and dolphins breathe. For example, just like us, a dolphin or whale's first breaths are triggered by the dry air above the ocean. Humans use this to our advantage with water births. A human baby won't actually gasp for air if it's born into a tub of water, but will wait until it's been brought to the surface. Also, marine mammals very rarely drown. 
They have a much larger tolerance for CO2 than land mammals and don't have a reflex that will make them take a breath underwater. It's thought that every breath is a conscious decision, which is why it's so important for them to remain alert while they sleep, unlike us who breathe automatically when we sleep. Sadly, most cases of drownings are our faults. Being the result of fishing equipment like nets and traps, it's sad. But on a less depressing note, mother dolphins are constantly on the move, keeping their little baby dolphins in tow. Baby whales and dolphins don't have much fat, which means it's harder for them to stay afloat. By resting on the move and slowing down, they're able to keep little Flipper from falling behind. So hooray for little baby dolphins. So in conclusion, whales and dolphins have some incredible evolutionary abilities that give them far more control over their body's natural functions than we do. They do in fact sleep, but they do it in a way that's unique to them. By shutting off portions of their brains, they're able to rest different parts of their brains and actually spend around 30% of their day sleeping this way. They conserve energy by slowing down digestion and prioritizing certain organs. Whales can drastically increase their time spent underwater, which allows them to basically power nap anywhere at any time. So next time your boss or teacher gives you any trouble for daydreaming, just tell them that you are living your best dolphin or whale life. If you enjoyed this video and wondered the same thing, please hit that like button and subscribe for more. And if you have any strange thoughts or questions you want the answers to, leave them down in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Kazi. Whales and dolphins are the catnap kings and queens of the ocean, and thank you for watching.